Hello Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 5-minute mini 5 cast general advice as always. So let's start with the Grande Amore deck by Maria of La Belle Anima 13, and I'll be pulling cards from the Stay Inspired Oracle cards by Alex of Sister Moon Tarot. So let's begin, see what the messages are here today. It is timeless, however, so whenever you're guided to tune in, and I'm hoping that there's something here that you can relate to that'll help you out. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Taurus, what do we need to know? Tatted. One of my favorite photos, actually, I have this exact photo in one of my other decks, and it says, I love you. That is what that tattoo says. Leaving your mark permanent. So for some of you, this could be your masculine. Maybe there's a tattoo, maybe with your name on it, or something significant there, or maybe you both do. Maybe you've both got tattoos dedicated to the partnership, the connection, so they've left their mark for sure it's coming through as well we've got a yin and yang situation here feminine and masculine energy balance and harmony so that's actually a good thing maybe you guys really keep each other balanced all right let's grab one more the love certainly is here this could be a permanent love connection between you and this person we have love note coming through incoming heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So maybe you and this person really need to sit down and talk things through, especially if you guys are either not seeing eye to eye right now, maybe you've had a falling out with this person and just needing to restore balance back into the relationship. All right, so that love note could either be a text, an email, they could reach out on social media, it could be a card that they give you. All right, so let's, let's grab some cards from the Stay Inspired deck here. We do have comfort, okay? So this card says sometimes you just need a warm beverage, a good talk with a friend, a loving smile, a hug, and your entire outlook will change. If you and this person are in separation, I feel all of this could possibly help you to feel better and just make you feel like you guys can work things out. And I feel, Taurus, that you are most at peace when you are with this person. Let's grab one more. We do have free yourself, okay? So it does say, this is your life. Don't live it restricted by your past or the opinions of others. Write a new story. So if you, for example, are dealing with a challenging love connection and maybe you know that it has run its course, that you're needing to go in a different direction and find this type of love bond that is presenting itself here, that could be a sign as well. All right. And maybe, you know, it is something as simple as having a good conversation with a friend that could give you much needed advice on what it is that you need to do. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection tarot deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Taurus, what else do we need to know here? So you know what it is that you need to free yourself from, Taurus, whether it's a love relationship or something else going on. Now, we do have the sun, which is a beautiful card in tarot, but it is coming up reversed. So there's something here, a particular situation that's blocking your way towards happiness, because in the upright, this does represent radiance, a very joyful, successful, happy energy, as well as abundance. So maybe that includes maybe your job. If you, if you, for example, are at a dead end job, you're not happy. That could also be what this is talking about, that you got to free yourself from that situation in order to find the right kind of situation for you. So your job, life purpose, money matters, love connections, all of those things are being addressed in this reading. And this is so fitting how we've got the seven of cups because you have choices in front of you. All right, you just have to make good choices, wise choices that will turn this sun card in the upright so you can find happiness in all areas of your life. Okay, and then we do have the four of pentacles. So I can't help but feel for some of you guys that maybe right now you're struggling a little bit financially. Maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends, just working very hard to make every penny and it's flying out as soon as you make it. All right. We also have the devil card. You could be dealing with 
a Capricorn. This could be a temptation. This could be addictive behavior, obsessive behavior towards a partnership or a situation. So just be mindful of that because that could also be pertaining to what it is that you need to free yourself from. All right. And then we have the two of swords. Maybe something's not moving right now for a reason. This could be the universe actually protecting you from moving forward either with a person or a situation because ultimately it's not going to end up going anywhere that will fulfill you or make you happy. All right, Taurus. So I'll leave it there. If you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below. See you guys next time.